Yo, man, y'all already know what it is, man. New Japan Pro Wrestling's Best of the Super Junior 29 kicked off this morning, and we have a nice amount of matches to talk about in the New Japan Best of the Super Junior 29. Some preliminary matches, of course. We have some big main events. This is some big Block A matches, so we might as well get into what we have going on the happenings this morning. So without any further ado, you know who we are. If you don't know who we are, we're the Almighty SOS Wrestling Network. Be sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell a friend to tell a friend. All, you know, of course, the price subscription is free 99. Like I was trying to say before, I just forgot my own catchphrase, but it is what it is. We have five block A matches coming up, man. We got the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion Taiji Shimori taking on Yo, best of the Super Junior 28 final, 10 28 runner up, excuse me, in the main event. So without any further ado, let's get on in this match right here. So the first match we have Master Wado, Tiger Mask, Hiroshi Tenzan, and Robbie Eagles taking on the team of Roye Oya, Koize Fujita, Yuto Nakashima, and Wheeler Yuta. This is an okay opener right here. Pretty much the crux of this match is, is the appetizers that we're going to get between, you know, before we get the match between Wheeler Yuta and Robbie Eagles. You know, I'm always a sucker for stuff like that. Match did what it needed to do. Solid eight man tag team match M moves us on down the court. Like I said, the team of Masuado, Tiger Mask, and Roshi Tenzan and Robbie Eagles got the victory right here. Moving on up the card right here, we have Bushi and Shingo Takagi of Los and Gobernambas de Japon taking on the defeating El Fantasmo and Dick Togo representing the Bullet Club. This match is just okay if you ask me. Highlight of this match was the Bushi and ELP interactions because they're going to have their first face off in the best of the Super Junior in the Block B action. I think that show is going to happen on Tuesday. That's really the only thing I like from this match. Match was standard. It was just okay. Pumping Bomber put Dick Togo away here. It was what it was. If you just, like I said, if you like that preliminary, whether it be G1 Climax or the best of the Super Junior, you can watch this stuff. But other than that, you can go out of your way. A match that I actually did like that was an undercard match right here. We had the team of El Lindeman, Titan, and Jado taking on defeating the Suzuki Gun Trio of El Desperado, Taka Michinoku, and Doki right here. This is a fucking perfect introduction to El Lindeman and Titan, who Titan, excuse me, if you're unfamiliar with these guys. Titan has been over with for the best of the Super Junior and the World Tag League, or the Super Junior Tag League, excuse me, many years before. Of course, with the pandemic and everything, he was not able to come over. This is El Lindeman's first go at it the best of Super Junior, and I'm eager to see what he does. I think he's going to tear it up right here, man. He got the victory for his team right here, or Titan actually got the victory, excuse me. He got it with a springboard stomp, excuse me, on Takamichinoku, but, <clears throat> but El Lindemann showed, he showed out here. So did Titan. This was a really solid trios match, and I think this is definitely the best undercard match on the show. So now we move on to the best of the Super Junior action right here, block A action. We have the TNA, TNA, <laughs> the Impact Wrestling X Division Champion, Ace Austin, taking on defeating Clark Connors. This is a really, really good match. This is actually followed. He put him away with a fold right here. He got the victory about, uh, let me get the time, the exact time. It was about 9 minutes and 51 seconds. This was actually surprisingly great. I didn't know what to expect between these two guys going in. I hadn't really seen much of Ace Austin. I've seen Clark Connors, of course, from New Japan Strong. But this was a fucking banger, man. It was a nice way to start the tournament. Next, next match you had, as far as the New Japan Pro Wrestling Best of the Super Junior 29 Tournament Block A action goes, we have Alex Zane taking one, defeating Yoshinobu Kanemaru. He got the victory with the cinema twist. It was around 11 minutes and 31 seconds right here. It was a lot of legwork from Kanemaru, which is going to be, what's going to happen? That's, that's what he does. This is an okay match. I didn't think either one of these guys went to the second gear. It was a nice, solid match right here, but I just think it's kind of maybe some unfamiliarity with these guys. Maybe if they get some more time in the ring together, they'll be able to go, but like I said, Alex Zane gets the victory right here. You know, decent debut <clears throat> as far as his New Japan Pro Wrestling, you know, actually in Japan, you know, debut. Because I used, used debut twice right there. So, moving on up the card. Francisco Akira taking on defeating show right here. This is a typically a show match for the most part. I'm so thrilled that the rest of the house of torture wasn't involved. There was still a lot of blatant cheating right here. We get show jumping at uh, Francesco before the bell, of course. They got had some out of the ring spots, but then once they got back into the ring, I think this is when this match really picked up right here. It's when they really start letting their juices flow, for lack of a better term. And we get Akira Francesco getting a victory, a little under 12 minutes with the fireball right here. I felt he needed to get this W, make an impactful debut in his first New Japan Pro Wrestling match here in Japan, former All Japan Pro Wrestling World Junior Heavyweight Champion, former All Japan Junior League winner many times. So I think he won it once, not many times. It's 2021, as I misspeak. So then we move on to the semi-main of this show. We have Rizuke Taguchi, one half of the IWGP 
Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions taking on the former two-time winner of the Best of the Super Juniors, former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, like I said, reigning Best of the Super Junior winner right here, taking time bomb from Romu Takahashi. This is mostly a comedy match. It was okay. Um, I've definitely seen Taguchi and Romu Takahashi have better outings, but like I said, this is pretty much a no-butt stuff from rules right here. Uh, we did have a sighting of the butt when Taguchi buried his underwear. Um, like I said, this was we had the Romu roll up to get the victory right here. This was okay. It was not. It didn't go to that next gear. It was just a solid standard pro wrestling match. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was a solid. These guys were pros, and that's what they showed right here. So, in the main event, we had Taichi Ishimori, the reigning IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, taking on and defeating Yo. V, I believe he tapped him out with the bone lock around 16 minutes, 15 seconds right here. I thought that Mio might get the victory, but I was pretty much surprised, man. Of course, he's playing that, you know, the Spitfire underdog baby face here in this match. But T Ishimori was unable to end up to shut him out and get the victory right here. So I thought it was a strong outing, ultimately, even though I thought he would have won. But probably makes more sense for Ishimori to get that W since he just picked the belt up. Makes him look, I hate to say, that much stronger. And yeah, it makes him look like a solid person to pretty much win this whole tournament, even while being the champion. So I thought night one of the best of the Super Junior 29 was ultimately a success, if you ask me. So we won't get any more best of the Super Junior action until Tuesday, May 17th. We'll have Block B action, of course. So, you you know, keep stay tapped in, stay tuned in. And you know what? I want to see what the matches will be on Tuesday that we have. Just to give y'all a little, uh, you know, satiate your appetite to see what we got coming up to see what's going on on Tuesday. So let's talk about the best of the Super Junior matches we have on Tuesday. We have L. Lineman taking on Doki. Should be a banger. Like I said previously, we got Bushi taking on Jael Phantasmo. Like I said before, Robbie Eagles taking on Wheeler Yuta. Master Wado taking on TJP. And in the main event, Teton versus El Desperado. So Tuesday should be a solid show as well. I'm ready to take it in, ready to watch it, ready to review it, and ready to put this video out to y'all guys. So you know what it is, man. I'm the Pro Wrestle Fly God. Start of Shiaku, Blunt to your Naito. S West Wrestling Network like you ain't even got to share, but it's subscribe to this motherfucker. You know what it is, man. Help the algorithm thing go. You already know Pro Wrestle Fly Guy don't like ugly either. And I'ma holler at y'all later. Night two, what you gonna do is coming up next. Deuces.